What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada as I do Tuesday to Friday <laughs> bringing you junk journal content and videos. This is not exactly junk journal related video but I am working on something so I'm going live here on my channel. I'm also not a sewing channel so... <laughs> Anyways, I'm here and I'm continuing on my cathedral window pillow covers that I'm making for my friends this Christmas. Hi, Pam. Hi, Diana. How are you? And um, yeah, I'm just showing you and bringing you along. So I have done the best I can somehow. This took me all day yesterday and most of today to achieve. And then I ran out of triangles, so I had to, I had a bunch of white squares that I needed to, to fold in half. So I went ahead and did that, and then I figured I don't have enough triangles, so I cut out more triangles, folded them in half, and then I took it out. So I still have to do these before I can start working on the actual pillow. So we'll put this off to the side here for now. And I'm just going to work on this here. Clips here. Marty. Hi, Marty. How are you, dear? So I'm just continuing on work, just sewing on these little triangles to a square. These are all four by four squares. And these are folded in half, as you can see. And we're just sewing on these triangles. I wanted to get done with this by the time I went live, but you know, such is life. <laughs> just did, I just couldn't get it done. <laughs> but I was really trying. I was really, really trying. It was all going good until I ran out of uh, triangles. <laughs> Okay, so let's get to sewing. I'm using an eighth inch seam right now. Make sure those are together there. Did a little bit of back stitching. Can't wait to start connecting them and then the fun starts after you connect them. That's when it starts to get fun. Because you're almost done. <laughs> you're almost done. <clears throat> Daisy, the white ones are folded. Yeah, the white ones are folded. <clears throat> in the traditional, in the in the video tutorial that I'm following. They're all white, um, but then there's other videos that I'm following, and uh, the white ones here are the squares, and the main square is colored. So, and then here's going to be color, and here's going to be color, so that's what makes it a little bit more exciting than the way that the video does it. But yeah, um, the square ones, or the triangle ones here, are the ones that are folded are white. It's going to be really cute. At least I'm thinking. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it will be real cute. That's the, that's the plan that it'll be cute. thread so that we don't have to do it later because I think in the beginning I didn't do this. I didn't cut them so so that's gonna have to be done later then. Okay here's it's kind of a big tower hang on divide these in half here. Okay Diana if you've been able to practice your straight stitch and going around corners and you're good at seams <laughs> Then you can try to do this. 
somehow I've been practicing all that with paper. <laughs> and now I'm kind of good at it. Now it's, it's paying off. The practice is finally paying off. And I'm glad. I thought I was just playing with paper. It turns out I was practicing. <laughs> And I started learning about the whole patchwork, you know, putting together different little fabrics. That's when I learned really about seams. beautiful pillow and I'm so excited to see it done. <laughs> so excited to finish. <laughs> that part I find the trickiest right here in the second corner or the second part where they meet. I find that to be kind of the trickiest part of everything. We have to keep it together. <coughs> I try and get one little stitch to grab on over here in this corner so that way I don't have to worry about trying to hold this together. It's already just together, which is great. This one's going to look so cute because it has really tiny flowers on the inside. Look how pretty that is. It's going to be so pretty. So I'm using how many different patterns? How many? There's six rows. <coughs> And each row is made up of six of these little squares. So there's 36 little squares. So I think I picked 18 different patterns and there's two of each fabric. And I have, I'm making two pillows. So there's four each, four squares of each fabric that I'm starting off with. But I've seen other people, they make these these triangles right here. They'll make them different colors, too. I just don't have a lot of solids to do that. Some people made these solid, and that made it kind of cute. And it gave it an interesting look. Okay, come on now. This fabric is a little, it's... Must be a little bit more polyester because it's a little bit floppier than the other fabrics. Just a little bit. I think white makes it look elegant. Well, I wanted it to be, well, the, the pillows that I made for my mother were all white with just a couple of pieces of, of colored fabric. Um, but I'm making these for a friend and she has a dog. So I still wanted to have white, but I wanted to have a less white. So this way, this part in here is not white, so it's, it's less white than, than the other way. Beverly, hi Beverly dear. Welcome. to have done, have been done with this part by the time I went live. <laughs> I was really hoping tonight I would just be putting together the rows. It's fine. Hopefully I'll still be able to show you a part of that. I should, I should. This shouldn't take me too Oh, right. This 
so it's done. The last one of this pattern. Yeah, I only have this little stack to do. It'll take me a minute, but it shouldn't take me. I don't think it should take me an hour, probably half hour. But hurry up. Yeah, a daisy makes me want to sew. You should be able to, you, sh you should do it, Miss Beverly. I love sewing. I never really, like I said, I didn't grow up sewing. I saw my mom. My mom would like have a sewing machine to help fix my dad's pants because we're all short. <laughs> so she would, she would cut a, a, she would fix all of our pants because we were all really short. <laughs> But other than that, she didn't really sew. She crocheted a lot. She didn't really sew. I really have been having fun over the, the last years getting to know a nice sewing machine and getting used to sewing. It's been fun. It's been fun. Now here I am, I can make pillows, a pretty pillow. It's just, I have to work on, um, when I put stuff together, I have to work on my, on making sure everything's straight. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I still have to practice that, but that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. I used to make my clothes in high school. Oh, that's cool, Diana. That's fancy. I've, I've never been able to make, I mean, besides this pillow. Okay, well, I think the first functional thing I was able to make was I guess this. And then the second functional thing I was able to make was my sewing machine cover. And then the third functional thing I've been able to make is this pillow. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just been like sewing scraps or sewing paper, but these are some of my first like punction, uh, functional, functional, so nice. <laughs> Just good practice, you know, just good practice. Is this interesting fabric? And of course, these are all um, bed sheet scraps. I think there's a couple pieces of it, like real actual fabric in there, but most of it is my bed sheet scraps. I made myself a skirt once. Rubber in the waist and all fancy. Very cool. This lady from my church showed me. Very cool. Making your own skirts must be fun. I've never, I've never tried. <laughs> but it would have been cool back in the day when I wore skirts. I have my allergies are getting the best of me today, you guys. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> I am using a 
a set of uh, quilting needles, which I've never used before. I think the first time I used them, I might have maybe installed them incorrectly. But this time they work great. I must have installed it incorrectly last time. Because my other needle, which normally works just fine, it was pushing the fabric into the machine. I don't know why. It was very strange. But now it's not doing that, so that's nice. Hang on, let me get some of my tea. Oh my god. Mmm, lemongrass tea is so good, you guys. Fresh lemongrass is out of this world, but I, I have little tea packets. Needle size is important. I I just, I heard about this. I, you know, I, I've been watching videos here and there. And I feel like every video says something different. But this one video was talking about needle sizes. And I was like, what? You need a, you need a different needle? Because this whole time I've been, you know. Working with the same needles I always work with. So these are the first different kind of needles I buy. And they worked out pretty good. They worked out pretty good. Okay. And the fabric, see, you know, I'm making two pillows, two matching pillows. However, the fabrics, they don't exactly, like, match. It's, <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm not that good yet, but they they look like they're the same. <laughs> to me. To me. It's good enough. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just try my best. Every, every, you know, project that goes by, every watch a different video gives me different advice. And uh, I'm getting there. I'm putting it all together. <laughs> I am putting it all together. Some videos I watch, they kind of just like assume you already know things. <laughs> so sometimes I discover why why did that why did that work for them, but it didn't work for me. Let's find out. <laughs> and I've been I've been learning here and there. I've been learning a couple of things here and there. Thank you, Marty. I hope so. Keep your fingers crossed for me, please. Please, please. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Thank you. I haven't decided what fabric I'm gonna put on the inside on the windows. I don't quite know. But we'll worry about that when we get there. <laughs> sides of the pillow going to be that pattern or will they be will the back be solid uh no the back is just gonna be solid white yeah no the back is just a solid white which thinking about it should be solid white maybe i have a fabric somewhere maybe i don't know 
Now that I, now that you brought that up, I'm thinking, mm, should it be a white? Because I'm trying not to have so much white. Ha! Huh. Marty brings up a valid point. Uh, those clips are a game changer. Pins are annoying. Yeah. Although I recently learned how to bury the pin so that way I don't prick myself. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that trick. So now pins are not the worst. I just, this part right here, it kind of works the same with the pin and without the pin. So I'm like, let's just use the clips then because these are easier. Oh, my nose. It's terrible. It's terrible. Hang on, I gotta do my little... My little nose spray. Hang on. I think the clips make less puckering than pins. Huh! I hadn't thought about that. Okay, hopefully my little, uh, oops, sorry, I hit my forehead on the camera. Hopefully my little nasal spray here will help me with my allergies. Ugh. I'm dying. course the the tutorial video that I'm using and following and the pattern is down in the description box below if you want to check it out yourself if you want to see what I'm doing check it out this is a different way than I'm making my curtains you still get the same effect, it's just the back of it is a little bit more different. The front looks the same, but the back looks different. Okay. I do have a lot of this fabric, but this fabric's kind of thin too at the same time, so. Uh, I hadn't thought about what I'm going to do with the back of this. <laughs> maybe I'll see what color is more prominent, and then maybe I'll go to Joann's and buy some fabric. Maybe, maybe. Got to find the right and the wrong side of the fabric here. Yeah, the first time I did this, I pinned this. At this point, I pinned all these. But I think the best press really makes this a lot easier than the last time that I did this. For sure. The best press is a game changer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you guys hear about that? Uh, Amazon's getting sued. Well, I'm sure they get sued for different things. But there's a lawsuit in California because they keep saying 
two day delivery and then they push the, the delivery. So like that literally just happened to me today. I was supposed to get something delivered and in the middle of the day, I look at it and it says to be delivered today by 10 o'clock, but it didn't say out for delivery. And that's usually when they don't send it out. That That's a sign that it's not going to arrive that day. And so I was like, oh, see, this is what they're talking about. Amazon over here saying two day shipping and then it turns into four day shipping. And that's not cool. So I think if they win, some of people are going to get like refunds on their Prime accounts or something, but the lawsuit is still going on and who knows when they'll finalize it. Meanwhile, they're still doing it everywhere else. Because they're saying that they're such high, like they're one of the biggest players. And maybe you, we would have taken our business to a smaller business had Amazon told us that it wasn't going to be delivered for four days. You know what I mean? I'm ready to pay shipping the way Amazon Prime has just been awful. Yeah, it has been terrible. Marty, yes, I've been thinking about getting a clapper or just something heavy. Hi, Kimberly. Or just something heavy to put on top of it. I think that might be a good move next. Although this is pretty dang flat. It is pretty flat. I got to notice that I had a package delivered, said it was handed to the resident. We did not get it at all. There's only one time that I didn't get an Amazon package, but weird that they would say that they handed it to somebody. Why right now, though? Like, I've been fine all day. <laughs> and then I go live, and my nose is like, it's action time. Like, it's time to get up. Like, <laughs> so the next fabric here. That happened to me Saturday. It was delivery to my neighbor. Good thing I know. <laughs> delivered to neighbor? What? what? That's not where, that's not where you told them to deliver it. That's why now I, I just use the, um, I normally just have them deliver it to, uh, uh, one of those Amazon boxes. They're all at the 7-Elevens. I can just go and pick it up there because sometimes I'm not home. I can't be home all day. <laughs> and they keep raising the Amazon Prime prices. That's so annoying. But they gave it to your neighbor. That's not cool. But if you don't even like that neighbor. <laughs> What's that? What if that's your enemy? Backstitch. Gotta remember to backstitch. Oh my god. One time I didn't get a package and it was because I blame I still blame Amazon because normally I mean I was on about and normally Amazon 
will tell you, it'll send you a notification like, hey, your your package is going to be delivered in, in the next 10 stops or, you know, your package is on the map or whatever. They always say that. And this one time I was out and about and they didn't tell me. I just decided, oh, uh, let me check on the Amazon delivery. It's getting kind of late and it hasn't told me it's it's going to be delivered. So I look at I look at my order on the on the on the app and it's like oh it's already been delivered here's a picture of it and I was like y'all don't know where I live you cannot just not tell me ahead of time that you're about to get there because somebody snatched it up somebody snatched it up and so I called them and they sent me they gave me a refund luckily if you have too many of those reports though. They will not deliver to you anymore. You have to have a secure address, you know? So if you don't have a secure address, they, they're not going to refund you if things get stolen. <laughs> so luckily, I've never reported anything stolen. So they gave me a refund, and I was like, I guess. Oh, and one time, hi, Stephanie. And one time, uh, I got a package, and I, when I took the package, when I picked it up, rather, when I picked up the package, I was like, there's nothing in here. This thing is, there's nothing in here. It doesn't weigh like anything. I think, what was it supposed to be, like, um, I think, like, eye pins or something for uh, my dangles. And there was nothing in the box. There was nothing in the, in the polyester box bubble wrapper and I was like they literally sent me an empty package <laughs> and I was like oh man I was like how is Amazon gonna Amazon's gonna call me a liar I have instructions where to leave it sometimes they totally don't check those instructions I'll leave it in random <laughs> not cool not cool but yeah one time they delivered an empty package and I was like, not cool. Like, what am I going to tell them? Are you really going to tell them you got an empty package? I'm not going to believe you. But the package was legit just empty. <laughs> I had a package picked up by FedEx and Walmart. Won't refund me because they can't find it. Not cool. What? Not cool. Is this really going to take me an hour to do? No, no, no. Maybe. <laughs> I've been sitting here. It's literally taking me all day to get these sewn up. Like all day. That's, this is all I've done all day. I've not actually done any work. I've just been doing this all day. And it's still not done. That's my last time I'm telling you. Last time I did this, it took me two weeks to get it all done. <laughs> of course, that was the first time I made these pillows. And since then, I've worked on trying to make curtains out of this pattern. So I'm getting a little faster, but it's still going to take time. Oh, my goodness. Still fun time, you know, time well spent, but <laughs> good thing I have a rain camera. I have the guy on camera picking it up. Wow. Oh, good thing you have that camera. Gotta decide what order I'm gonna put these in in the rows. Gotta try not to be too picky about it. Gonna try. <laughs> Keyword try. 
So when they said it was delivered to the resident, I called and told them it wasn't, and they did reimburse me. Yeah, sometimes if, like I said, if you don't have a record of claiming to have packages stolen, they'll reimburse you. They're pretty good at it. My little needle down button, the little icon is like <laughs> fading away. Once they left a package outside the gate, hang on. Good outside the gate, my daughter's dog dragged it through the fence and ripped it open. Luckily, I got to it before the dog destroyed it. Oh my God. That's funny. It's kind of funny. <laughs> just because I, I've seen videos of dogs do, like ripping apart packages, I just I'm picturing that. <laughs> I caught them taking a pick and picking it up and taking it. I opened her door and she was like, "Oh, here you go." Wow, Beverly, shady boots, shady boots. Wow, that's crazy. Come on now. Come on. Let's get in peace here. I went too far. Uh, and because it's polyester, it frays a little bit more <laughs> than normal. The white, the white fabric here is also scraps from when I made my curtains. Well, I'm still making my curtains. I don't know what I was thinking. The first two curtains, like, I mean, bed sheets, I kind of chopped up too much, like just in an ugly way. And I had all this leftover fabric, so that's where I got all these squares from. <laughs> I did have to break into the fourth bed sheet for the rest of these triangles. Uh, I, I live out in the country back off the road. There's a large black block uh, just under the cart box, under the cardboard. Every other delivery manages to place packages there. Amazon will have an occasional... <laughs> man person delivery person who can't read instruction <laughs> now you have like a special box Those poor Amazon delivery people, I'm not even mad at them. I mean, unless they deliberately try and steal 
but they get like two seconds to make each delivery, so I can't even be like. I'm not even surprised they don't have they don't have anywhere to pee, let alone time to sometimes read the delivery instructions. I'm sure. <laughs> Their life sounds stressful. Their job, I should say. Dissing on Amazon. What fun, right? I hope nobody here is the CEO of Amazon. <laughs> or I hope you are. I hope somebody else out there on the Amazon CEO board or something listening to our complaints. <laughs> popped out on this one. That's weird. Hang on. That has not happened in a minute, so I guess I can't be too mad. The thread just popped. Little foot gets dusty too. You gotta clean it off a little bit. <laughs> so that be okay. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay, that's working better. Here we go. Cheryl, hi Cheryl. What's up, Miss Cheryl? Oh, did you get your, uh, I forgot to mention, did you get your embroidery machine? You were going to get some, like, fancy sewing machine, Cheryl. Did you ever get it? Was it you? Was it you? Or was it someone else? Remember somebody saying they were going to get a new, like, brother's embroidery machine or something? I still say I don't care. Monique, Monique, Monique. What's up, lady? Just working on this darn pillowcase. It's taking up my whole life. <laughs> it's taking up my whole life. <laughs> Should see all the fucking squares. Look at all the squares I have made. It's kind of crazy. It's taking me all day. <laughs> Look at this. 44 minutes already. I thought I'd be done with this already. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. This is your life now, Daisy. This is your life. <laughs> and we're getting there. This is definitely faster than the first time I did it. That's for sure. That's for sure. Did you not think you would be on tonight? Did not think you would be on tonight. Well, I am. <laughs> I am here. Just working on this here. Put a pause on my junk journal projects and I'm making new pillows. <laughs> then I have to do it again because I need to make some pillows for my other friend. I'm just working on one set pillows at a time. That's why I started mid-November. <laughs> That's why I've been so like, crazy to get medical supplies and a sewing machine. Ooh, very cool.
It's cold, you guys. It's so chilly. I need my lap blanket. My sweater. I'm cold. Thank you, Miss Pam. If y'all have a little moment, give me a little thumbs up. Thank you. Let's see here. Oh, this is my life now. This is <laughs> That's why when my aunt hit me up, one of my aunts hit me up last time when I showed off the pillow I made on Facebook. And she's like, oh, if you ever saw one, let me know. And I'm just thinking, this takes me so long. <laughs> I don't think I could turn a profit <laughs> if I were to sell these pillows. I could I could, unless I charge like $300 or more, like $400 for a set of pillows. It's just, it's literally not worth my time to sell it. <laughs> it takes so long to do. I'd have to charge like $500 for a set of pillows to even make it worth, to even break even on my time. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I saw somebody um, on Etsy, I think they're selling them for like $90 a pillow, but I think they're smaller. Daisy, you only need 72 squares for two pillows. It looks like you have 10,042. Uh, no, that is incorrect. According, I'm looking at the pattern right now, and it says I need 216 four-inch squares. <laughs> 214 so one each of these is three squares you know each of these is three squares so three and there's six squares per row three times six is 18 and then there's six rows times six that's 108 squares per pillow they only make up um that's it's it's how many squares I had to cut out. It's too much. It's too much. Things take a lot of time to create. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you could say that twice. I can't wait till my curtains are done. I don't know when they'll be done. Maybe in two years. <laughs> At the rate it's going, maybe in a couple of years. It's taking me so long to make those. Especially the curtains. Oh my gosh, the curtains are insane. <laughs> the amount of time it takes. I'll work on it all weekend and all I'll get done is <laughs> like four out of the 12 rows that it takes to make a curtain panel. <laughs> Which is why I use a calculator. Yeah. I'm just following the pattern though. I haven't even cut the squares that go on top of these. Well, no, no. These are the four inch squares. Then there's big, a little bit bigger squares that make up the window, you know, where this goes like this. And that, look how pretty it's going to be. So pretty! Just going to go in. <laughs> wow, I've never had someone other than hubby and the she shed love me enough to make me a gift like that for me. <laughs> That's why I told my husband, I'm like, after I finished my mom's pillows, I was like, sorry, you going to make me some now? Like, because they take so long. And he said, no. <laughs> He said no. <laughs> and then I gave the pillows to my mom and she's like, okay, now I need another two pillows for the other couch. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, Molly. <laughs> now I have to, but oh God, mother. <laughs> no, actually she said, now I need the bedspread. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll see you in 10 years. Like, 
The people that make bed sheets, like whole blankets out of this pattern, they are the real kings and queens. <laughs> They should be made president of the United States. Because that's a lot of work. And a lot of people um, hand stitch some part of this. I refuse to hand stitch, so I just do it all by machine. But a lot of people hand stitch part of this, and that's crazy. I was telling my daughter the other day how many sessions I did for my frog painting and a prox time spent painting and she's like that's like 20 hours yeah Sha. it takes a long time to make stuff. I just remember watching this video and being like, can I do that? And then I was like, oh my God. After watching it like 10 times, I was like, I think I can do that. I mean, it's a lot of cutting. It's a lot of sewing. I was like, but I think I can, I think I can do that. So it was just amazing. I didn't think it would take me two weeks to do it, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> All right, it's all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's the time and then the money. And then these people that buy actual, like, fabric at these quilt stores. If I could, I would. But, you know, I'm on a budget. So it's just a lot of time, a lot of money. These quilting ladies, they got a lot of time and a lot of money. <laughs> I have a lot of time <laughs> and some and a couple of dwellers up and, and a thrift store. <laughs> like I said, the the white fabric is bed sheets that I got from Amazon. Because I'm so cheap. <laughs> Instead of buying white fabric from Joann's, I just bought white bed sheets. But it gets the job done, it does. It frays a little bit more, but it still works. And they're soft. They're real soft. Oops, I went too far. Oops. Dang, I really thought this would only take me half hour to do. And here we are an hour later. <laughs> this is too much, you guys. Too much. So stressful. <laughs> I never said this was the quick quick method. <laughs> I don't think I don't think there is a quick method for this. It all takes so much time, but it's fun though.
might have to switch the needle again. Again, I buy cheap materials, so I'm not surprised that it doesn't work 100% of the time. <laughs> like right now, I'm sure if I use some nice cotton, maybe this would happen to me, but, but it is what it is. Daisy, are the pillows for the friend we met when you were making the batters? Yes. Yes, it's for my friend Elisa. She's coming to town, I think. Next week? This week? What did she say? I don't know. She's my friend from middle school. Now we both moved out here in, in high school. And we just hung out. We've been hanging out ever since. Because our family lives here. Sometimes she'll live here. Sometimes she'll live in Cali. But her mom lives out here, so she'll come out here to visit and stuff, so we still hang out. My friend, Lisa. Okay. Eh. Okay, this had a terrible beginning, but that's okay. It's going to be okay. I think I gotta get new scissors. This doesn't want to cut some thread sometimes, which is not good. I have to get new little thread scissors. I think I've had these for like a year or two now. So maybe it's time for new ones. Or maybe I can sharpen them. How do I sharpen scissors? <laughs> is that a thing? I hope that's a thing. Sharpen them. Like you have to go get them sharpened, or can I sharpen them? And with what? With one of those uh, knife sharpeners? Or what? Or what? getting there you guys it's getting there it's this is the end <laughs> this is the end i'm doing two pillows so that's why there's so many of them too Instead of putting a needle every three bobbins, I'm at bobbin number two. Yeah, they bobbin number two. With the scissor sharpener, they still have oh, they sell scissor sharpeners. Interesting. Very interesting. Glad I asked. No, not the same way. <laughs> okay. Okay, Monique. Okay. Yeah, see, they won't even cut that thread. I don't know. It's just the white thread here, not my thread. The white fabric thread. Okay, after this, we have eight more to do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I 
better have enough triangles left. I'm going to be so mad if I don't. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset. I didn't count them. I just made some, and I was like, I think that's enough. I think. Here, I thought I was going to have leftovers. I didn't even have enough squares, enough white squares. I didn't really count them. <laughs> I was like, I think that's enough. The Tim Holtz haberdashery scissors for thread. Okay, okay. You have to have a special honing stone made just for scissors and use cotton seed oil. You must place a scissor edge at the right angle and dry it over the stone with the oil 15 and a half times precisely. Wow. Well, that sounds more expensive than a pair of, I mean, a pair of scissors. <laughs> but less wasteful for sure. I have other scissors too I could get sharpened. I know that Joanne's down the way has like scissors, the scissor sharpening guy. Marty, just kidding. Girl, I believed you. I trusted you. And you betrayed my tiny trust. <laughs> you got me. Oh, my God, Marty. You sounded real serious there. I thought, thought she was giving me the real instructions. You're crazy. <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> Marty. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hang on. If I don't have enough, I'm literally going to scream. Hang on. Two for this. Two for this. Two for this. I think I literally made just enough and no extra at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Hang on. Hey, am I for reals, you guys? I am one short. Now I'm mad. <laughs> now I'm really mad. Can you believe it? I am one short. I don't, even, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to even. I don't even want to acknowledge it. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> One! <laughs> I'm about to go crazy right now, you guys. Wow. Just, well, that's what I get for not counting. I just didn't want to count. I was like, I think that's enough. I don't know. Sewing machine shops sometimes sharpen them too. I really cannot believe I'm on square short. Miss Shaw, have a good night. So I'm about to flip out. <laughs> flip out, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the needle because that was the issue. It was solving is that it wasn't gonna sink in the fabric. And now it's sinking out. You guys, so I'm about to flip out, you guys. <laughs> I'm about to lose it. One square short. My life. My life. Carl says, calm down. <laughs> he somehow got, you. do you think I got three of them on one? No, I didn't count. I didn't, I can like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't count. So I don't even know how many things you go back through them. Make sure you didn't have an extra one. Oh, look. 
how they look right now. Okay. Oh, oops. We're okay, we're okay. I got a Fisker Scissors Sharpener from Joanne's Fabric. Ooh. Okay, okay. Does it, have you used it? Does it work? Does it work well? But I get, I should count it. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It works well. I have used it a lot and I've had it for many years. Okay, okay. Have a rotary blade sharpener. Rotary blade sharpener. That sounds very interesting. Most interesting. Yeah, I just have extra blades to work. <laughs> Rotary blade sharpener. That sounds interesting, though. Most interesting. Beverly says she needs sharpeners herself. Last couple of squares, the needle wants to bunch up my fabric for some reason. I don't know why. Just the last couple of squares, like why? It's not what you're supposed to do at all. I just put it in a new needle. Hmm. 
My needle for the scanning cut, once in a while, I'll poke it on a ball of aluminum foil to sharpen it. That's what somebody said, so I do that. And my needle, and I haven't had a binder needle. And I use that sucker a lot. So I wonder if that would help with the, ne the regular needles, just poking aluminum foil. Probably not. Uh oh, Stephanie, that was me five minutes ago and then I did my little allergy nasal spray and I'm good now. Dang it, look at this. Look how it separated that right there. That's not cute at all. Hang on, this is, this is not good. Let's try and do that again. Maybe it might be the same thing. I don't know. Let's see if we can fix it. Okay, that was better. Much better. Oh my God, Daisy. Okay, so I kind of, I guess I underestimated how long it takes me to do this. I've been doing this all day and I haven't really, I guess I haven't really looked at the time. But I've been doing this literally, it took me all day to sew all those together. And I thought this will take 20 minutes and they give me an hour and 20 minutes after. Sometimes I will get a little man to make me a cup of ice water if I have to sneeze attack. I ask him, did you will pepper in my drink? And he loves it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> I can't believe after all that that I've done today, I'm missing one square. <laughs> it's enough to drive you crazy. Crazy. I'm looking at my phone like, did I drop it on the floor? No, I didn't. I did it. <laughs> Negative. Definitely tight quilting, sewing. It's not relaxing at all. <laughs> it's, it's very stressful. <laughs> very stressful. This is I'm trying to find a hobby to relax. Don't take up something. Okay, don't do it. Not recommend it. <laughs> Go read a book or something. I don't know. <laughs> this ain't this ain't it. This is not a relaxing hobby. I keep eating up the corners too. That's really strange. Normally I can pivot just fine. But I'm just not letting me pivot very well. You're in the big leagues now, Daisy. <laughs> I can make a pillow. I can make anything. <laughs> I might have to re-thread it. It's kind of not making these corners very well at all. Let me re-thread it. Sometimes that helps. I don't let me re-thread it. Let me reinstall the needle because it might have been something I did. 
are now. Let me just reinstall it. I need a better screw than the screwdriver than this because the screwdrivers. Oh, ooh, no, don't let the needle come in there. These screwdrivers that come with these sewing machines are so. It's a joke. It's a joke. to show y'all the next step. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen because this is taking forever. <laughs> wow, it took me an hour and a half to sew up. I don't even know how many of those pieces I sewed up. It didn't seem like a lot. It looked like, oh God, maybe it was a lot. Like two dozen. You make that stuff look so easy, get the thread in the spot. Well, I have an automatic thread, thread, thread machine, threader, threader, automatic threader, which makes it really easy. Oh, to get the, yeah, it's, it's this machine's actually pretty easy to thread. I want to see the next step. Me too, Marty, me too. <laughs> You're talking about getting it in spot number six. Oh, uh, yeah, sometimes it is a little bit annoying to get it in there. A little bit, maybe. I pull it, you know, I do it like floss, you know, like this. And that helps. She's all whip, whip, whip. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> You know, the last sewing machine I had, I never even put the thread in there. I never put the thread in there. And it worked just fine. Okay. One more stitch. One more stitch. I used to be good at sewing as a teenager. Oh, very cool. I 
But that's cool though. Okay, okay. Man, the tutorial really makes you feel like you could do this in one day. <laughs> it really does make you feel like it's a one day, one hour project. <laughs> and it's not. It's really not. <laughs> Have a good night. Uh, his mom was a seamstress and his aunt still was a seamstress. He had to help his mom when she got home with her work. Oh, wow. The next step just involves a lot of sewing too. <laughs> it's the once all the rows are together, then honestly that's the fun part to me because then you get to put the, you know the fabric on top. Of <coughs> that to me is the fun part. That's funny that my scissors, they also, they're making this like little, it's like a little squeak they've never made before. A little squeaky squeak. And this fabric's really not going to show much. My bin is still a pretty piece. High school, he would sew for his buddies in home ec, and they would cook for him. <laughs> so they all pass the class. That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. used to cut tin foil. Oh yeah, tin foil. I mean, that's what I do with my needles too. Like with my um, scan and cut needles. I, like I said, I poke them through a little um, tin foil ball. Maybe that could work. I'll, I'll try that. That's free. I could try right now. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Tin 
Tell them that <laughs> Nah, I'm just gonna do it. It's just annoying. Because <laughs> I have to deal with a whole king size bed sheet to cut out one piece. <laughs> and of course I have to iron it and I throw it in half. It's a whole it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's this, but look at look at all these squares. I have sewn up. This is a joke, you guys. This is this is the joke. These are two pillows. <laughs> These are what is it? I think it's 144 squares right here, which are like 140 something squares. She's going to love it. Honestly, the end result, though, like, wow. Those pillows I made my mom were stunning. Like, literally. I mean, don't look at the stitching. <laughs> don't, don't look too closely, but they were stunning. So I'm just so excited to get it done. <laughs> so excited to see them meet. Okay, that's that's the fun part. That's the real fun part. <laughs> Is when you're done. <clears throat> and my mom's uh, friend was like, how did you do that? And I was like, a lot of squares and a lot of patience. <laughs> a lot of squares and a lot of time. <laughs> I okay. okay, 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 okay. I may use tin foil to sharpen my pinking shear since you can't sharpen it with a scissor sharpen. Oh yeah, how can? It's a it's a good it's a good attempt to be fun. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> this is for two pillows. <laughs> I'm gonna see my friend and be like, "Here's your pillow. You gotta put it together yourself." <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, God. I gotta finish this. I gotta finish this. Hey. Oh my God. I'm gonna do this real quick. I literally just need one square. Uh, where's the edge I was cutting? This is the only reason why it's annoying is because I had to use this whole bed sheet. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. I need my fabric scissors. And I could just cut it out. Okay, okay, so. I just need this much fabric. Roughly. That's it. This is big enough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hang on, I need my um, ironing thing with me. And my iron. Oh, oh, but first. Um, oh my god. I gotta maneuver around these lights and this camera. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so. This is beyond ridiculous. Like, <laughs> that, I, that I have to do this. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. So mad. I 
think I have to get a new blade to do it for my rotary cutter. Cutting it to be about five by five. It needs to be four by four, but I'll start with the five by five square. Okay, we'll need this again in a moment. Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I hit you, but I did. I'm sorry. Daisy may not have as many fabric scraps as I do. I have a lot of freaking scraps. It's terrible. All my fabric scraps, technically, because I cut it and I sew parts of it. <laughs> I don't think I have any actual, like, yardage. It's very rare for me to keep, like, huge pieces of fabric. I usually cut everything down. Which is right now, which is why right now when I was thinking about it, what fabric am I going to use on the back? I, uh, I don't know if I have any big pieces of fabric. Okay. Do you stuff them or use pillow forms? Pam can show you how to make a pillow. Guts. Getting wacko on training scraps. Oops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm all over the place. Okay, so I got my iron setting to medium. We use the best press, which I can. Amazon is really tripping on me because this is all I had left. So good thing I'm not making my other pillows right now. Good thing I got all my ironing done already because Amazon let me down. Oh my God, I just can't throw it away. I have to, I, I'm, I'm okay with throwing away teeny tiny scraps. I don't keep the smallest scraps. They have to be at least like two by two, three by three. <laughs> Even that I have, I have no problem throwing away fabric. I just, I don't have time, especially the little, little scraps. Did you order more? Yeah, I did, but it's supposed to be here today and it's not going to be here till another two days, I think. The good thing I already finished this, so I guess it's fine, I guess. I should almost be dry. And I have to do this on medium. Because if it's too high, it doesn't like it. <laughs> okay. So... Cut it down. This is a four and a half by four and a half here. So I'll just trim all the sides. And then I need to make it four by four. Now, we need to iron it in half. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, you can't melt the fabric so it's on medium. Otherwise, <laughs> The first couple of squares, the, the first square that I did, I, I had it on high, and I was like, oh, that was wrong. <laughs> and now I know. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> Moving stuff up the way. Let's get the last square done. Oh, my God. 
for goodness sake. Okay, let's get the last one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. It doesn't take long, but like cutting the whole fabric out of that big old piece. <laughs> That was annoying, but no, I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Took me longer to have the meltdown. <laughs> but you know, those minor inconveniences really get to me. <laughs> they really get to me. I've had this same type of rotary cutter for a while. If somebody can tell me if there's something better, I don't know. It seems seems fine. I don't see a problem with it. But if there's something better, I would like to know. Which I'm sure because this is like the basic of basic <laughs> rotary cutters. But it seems to be what everybody uses, I don't know. Okay, this way I can show y'all the next step before I log off and finish it. And then tomorrow, what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I have to cut out the fabric pieces that go on top. If I can get all this put together tonight. Perhaps I could. It's just gonna. It, I'll show you. It just takes a minute because I have to iron the seams and stuff. You know? So that always takes. Oh gosh, really? I'm gonna eat my corner on the last square. Thank goodness those are done. Fingers crossed that she has enough. <laughs> Please continue to wish me luck. <laughs> Until. Until I am all the way done, please continue. Wish me luck. Thank you. Because <laughs> look, the last square, the last little bit, and I'm messing up. Okay. Okay, James, that was, that was kind of rough, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's going to work out. I have hope. <laughs> I have hope. <laughs> that it will still work. I do everything on the cheap, so I do have to suffer a little bit. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. All right. Ooh. That feels very good. That feels real, real good. That we are done here. Okay, so next, ooh, I have to figure out how I'm going to arrange them. And start sewing the rows together. Okay, so finally. Okay. <sighs> so I'm only going to worry about technically half of the fabric. Because the other two fabrics... Are for the other pillow. So I'm going to put two of them away and I'm just going to work with two of the fabrics. So these are supposed to be six rows by six rows. 
six rows of six. So not this supposed to be the way. Okay. I think I like how I set them up right here. Because oh, where are the rest of these now? Let's just start off with this. I need another one of the seafoam green, though. Huh, what happened to the seafoam green? At some point, I must have jumbled them up. Okay, then you lost your opportunity to see foam green. Now the pink one's going in. Okay. So I have I need one more square on each of these. And we'll do the pale yellow over here. Why not? And over here we'll do the yellow here in the middle. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I need to sew these rows together. So let me just put them like this so I know what order they're supposed to go in. So technically I'm doing two pillows at a time, right? So oh wait, I only want one of each fabric actually, not two. <laughs> <laughs> this will come later in the pillow. Daisy. Get it right. Get it right, Daisy. Okay. So let me just make sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So. We want the, the triangles in the middle to make this V shape facing upwards. A zigzag shape like that. All right? I'm looking at the pattern. <laughs> up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So let's get these sewn together. And we're going to sew them. Hang on. It's supposed to be like this these sides facing each other and we're going to use a quarter inch seam so I need to go to stitch number 16 is it 16 yeah 16 number 16 which is a quarter inch a uh, quarter inch seam This is where I need a back stitch. Very important to back stitch here at this point. Oh my god. It's so Let's do the next one. Quarter inch seam. Oh, and I didn't backstitch. Got a backstitch, Daisy. It's the law. Oop, I didn't backstitch there either. Oh my god, Daisy. I got a backstitch the whole way, but it's it's very important to backstitch. Oh Fabric right now. Next stitch. Okay, and these. Uh, you look, you have an, a lock stitch. You have to 
You know you have what's a loxagen or somebody. What do you mean? Okay, give me a moment, y'all. I have to go to little girl's room. One moment. You know what, Marty? Did I make too many squares? <laughs> I'm thinking right now. I made, I did six rows and I did four of each fabric. <sighs> Hang on. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the math that I was like thinking of. I'm like, wait a minute. I have two of each of these fabrics here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about it again. Okay, so here's the row. I still have to open up the, the seam here. I'm thinking like, wait a minute, did I do enough for like four pillows? Like, <laughs> like I wouldn't be 
mad, I would be very surprised that that's what I did. <laughs> Most surprised. I think that's what I did. I think I made enough for four pillows instead of just two. Oh my God. No wonder it's taking me forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. The math started adding up. And then it's like it didn't add up because I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is Marty right? <laughs> Marty is always right. <laughs> Marty is always freaking right, you guys. <laughs> Daisy, I'm going to put a link in your inbox. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. The circle button open area in the middle is a lock stitch button. Everybody says to lock, everybody says to back stitch. I've never heard anybody say to use a lock stitch. Never. So that would be news to me. I don't even, I, I know what that button does. I know it does like a little tie at the end of it, but everybody always says back stitch. But I would appreciate some more information. It would be interesting to know. Okay, so these get sewn together here. So here's this row. I still have to press all of the seams. So that's something that needs to be done. But let me um, orient myself here. I'm just gonna do all the ones that I made. I don't care if it's four pillows or two pillows. I thought it was only two pillows. <laughs> I never said I was the world's smartest person, okay? Never claimed <laughs> to be the smartest person in the world, okay, you guys? So don't get mad at me. <laughs> I never said I was smart, okay? <laughs> never. <laughs> so don't accuse me of lying to you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Stephanie, I will. Thank you. I am new. I am learning. And that's okay. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to put all these rows together. And then we're going to put those rows together. And hopefully by tomorrow, if I have all the fabric cut out, which now I think I'm making four pillows. <laughs> I, I think I am making four pillows. <laughs> instead of the intended to. <laughs> oh well. Now I have to have, now I'll just get my own set of pillows. Give me. Maybe I will have finally made myself a pair of pillows. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I 
kept thinking that looks like a whole lot of squares. <laughs> well, now I have enough to do I never counted. I just kept, you know, I cut up all of my scraps and that's how many squares I had, you know, like I never counted. <laughs> it made sense at the time. <laughs> Let me make sure I get all this correctly here. Okay. I gotta go hang out with my friend tomorrow. I was gonna go live tomorrow. I guess I'm not because I gotta go hang out with my friend. He's my friend Rick. I'm so sad he's moving to Chicago or somewhere near Chicago. Now I have an excuse to go check out Chicago, I guess. Any pillows I have here to make. Now I'm confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> I've never been this confused in my life. <laughs> yeah, that quarter inch seam is great. Everything looks good. We're going to figure out how many pillows we're making. <laughs> At least you're prepared. Now I need somebody else to give pills to. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, hang on, I did. <clears throat> yeah, I did. I did six rows and I had all the squares and then I did four squares. It should have just been two squares. <laughs> Okay, well, that's great. This is great. This is going great. <laughs> it's not where I intended to be, but it's a, still, it's a good place. It's still a good place. <laughs> it's not to go live in the afternoon, then. I can't go live tomorrow night because I have to go to my friend's goodbye party. Boo. Boo. I gotta be back home by 10 though. I can only go out for a couple hours. Literally a couple of hours. So once I get all these rows together, then I'll connect them. You know, this row with the next row. I need six rows. We'll see. We'll see. I don't even know what what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I truly have no idea what's going on, um, but I think that's okay. <laughs> I think we'll figure it out when we get there. <laughs> we will get it. We'll figure it out when we get there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where we're at. And then this pink one. Okay. So we over here at the end. Having stuff done ahead of time is a good thing. Yes, very good thing. Hi, Ms. Zena. <laughs> Girl, I'm not backwards. I need help. <laughs> somebody. Somebody help me. <laughs> Go crazy. <laughs> I can't. This is, this is so silly, you guys. I can't even believe what I have done with my life. <laughs> I can't believe it. I think I made more pillows than I intended to, Zena. That's that's what's driving me crazy right now. I should have backstitched and I forgot to backstitch. Oh no. I'm backstitching the whole way, which I guess is okay. 
I have to say she did some really important <clears throat> with this project. Because last time I didn't backstitch and I didn't realize I should have backstitched. Till it was too late. <laughs> Till it was truly too late. Yeah, I decided to make, <coughs> I accidentally made 12 pillows <laughs> by accident. Completely by accident, I made 700 pillows. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know where my calculations went wrong. I don't know. It all seemed so well. It all seemed to be going so well. Until it didn't go well. <laughs> Until everything wasn't okay. <laughs> I can't, you guys. I cannot. Shut up, Marty. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what's going on. I don't know where I went wrong. <laughs> Still trying to figure out where I went, where I went wrong with this with my life. <laughs> I really was in the zone. I really was. I really, really was. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Don't be like me, you guys. Figure out how many pillows you're going to make first. <laughs> Don't make the same mistakes I did and make 700 pillows. Don't do it. Not recommended. <laughs> okay, so let's get all these, let's get all these out here. Now. Okay, it's going, you guys. It's it's going. <laughs> My seven hundred and fifty pillows <laughs> that I intended to make <laughs> are going. I said I have to iron all these, all of these seams. I gotta iron them. I did not expect this. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? If anybody wants to buy any pillows, let me know. <laughs> Anybody, it's gonna be like seven hundred dollars though. <laughs> I could not make these pillows fast enough to make a profit, and nobody's gonna want to pay 
$500 for a pair of pillows. <laughs> But I can't just, you know, give them away or, you know, well, I mean, I am giving them away, but like I can't just not pay myself because it is a lot of work, these dang pillows, especially if you make 700 instead of two pillows. Hi, Miss Jen. How are you, dear? Welcome to the chaos that is cathedral window pillows. <laughs> Welcome to the madness that is Cathedral Window Pillows. Okay, so this row's done. I don't know what happened over here. Kind of, I guess it'll be okay with that. I don't like that. I don't like this right here. That has not happened. I don't know why that happened, but I guess it'll be okay. So you can see the little fun peekaboos here. <sighs> This is going to be so much fun. I love it. I freaking love it already. I still technically don't know what the end result is going to be. But I'm going to like it. I know I am. Gonna stay live, you guys. <laughs> I know my lives are usually like two hours, but whatever, I'll just stay live so y'all can see the chaos unfold. <laughs> you can see me spiraling out of control. <laughs> So here we're using quarter seam. This is when things start, you know, they start coming together though. They're coming together. Can't see all the fun fabrics from the back, from the front, but you can from the back. Should I just do all these too? <laughs> I want to yell, you guys. <laughs> I really, I want to scream. Oddly enough, it's, it feels weird, but I do I want to scream. <laughs> Simply because somehow I made four pillows instead of two. That's, that's why I want to scream here. But that's okay. It's okay, Daisy. It's okay. Relax. Okay, relax. <laughs> relax, Daisy. Let's just get all these done then. Let's just get them all done. Who cares, Daisy? Just do it. <laughs> Cry about it later, Daisy. Cry about it later. Just because I wasn't sure what fabrics I was going to use for my other friend's pillow. Um, I guess now I do. <laughs> I, guess, I guess now. Now I do. Hang on, I got to find this fabric again. Might as well just get these done. Looking for this fabric here. There's that one. There's that one. Okay. Okay, geez, relax, relax. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're actually they're twenty by twenty, and uh, they're huge. They act, they're actually really big, um, but they're fabulous. So they're so when you put the actual pillow in there, they're they're great. They're so nice.
Yeah, 20 by 20 is a nice, nice size. All right, so let's let's just do this. Let's just do it again. <laughs> just I'm just laughing, you guys. Okay, don't mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going insane. Don't mind me. Just going crazy, but it's okay. <laughs> I was gonna try. I don't know. I didn't know how. I thought I would make my friend's other pillow like different. And I do want to use. I do want to wait till I find because I want to make hers dinosaur themed. So I want to find some dinosaur themed fabric somewhere. It has to be like cute dinosaurs, not like baby dinosaurs. She's into dinosaurs. Okay. Again, the pattern and the video tutorial I am following um, is in the description below. We gotta do like a little zigzag pattern here. And I bought a 12, 22 by 22 pillow for them. And um, they looked really nice and fluffy with the 22 by 22 pillow. So it makes, you know, they're a little bit more over fluff than a 20 by 20 pillow. And it worked out really well. I just figured out I made way too many like five minutes ago <laughs> on day three. It's all good though. It's all good. Better to make too many than not enough, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Better than not enough pillows. <laughs> okay. Again, I have to press the seams open. I'm not going to do that here on camera because that's the boring part. I'll do alone tonight. <laughs> or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow in the afternoon. I need to go live in the afternoon because tomorrow I can't go live at night. So I'll have to do it in the afternoon. Hang on, i got to get my example because I can't remember what order they're supposed to be in. Okay, so this. Um, then this, then this, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. 
making that baby lock earn its keep, right? Of course, everything, everything. Okay, so everything that I purchased, like in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna get my money back. I'm gonna make my money back right now. Like, <laughs> that's how I think about it, especially expensive things. I'm like, all right, all right, we gotta, you gotta make money. Like, <laughs> you gotta make your money back. You me, you know? <laughs> That's how I am sometimes. That's the business person. <laughs> I did not come to play. I came to slay. Okay, Jen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Nothing eats for free in this house, except my cat. <laughs> that he makes me happy, so he earns his keep. So. <laughs> okay, so when we sew the rows together, like when I have these two rows here, when I sew these together, Right here in the middle is where the other fabric's gonna go. And these corners are gonna turn like this, like this. And then again, there'll be fabric here, fabric here, fabric here. And it's just gonna be beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm looking at the pattern And I, now I see that it's actually, it's not the same. It's actually alternating. But I don't think any of these patterns have to be like going a certain way. They're all pretty abstract. It could go upside down or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see what they mean. I see what they're talking about. Okay. All right. So uh, let's do... This one, make sure I got the right fabrics here. Okay. Let's get these together. She's changed the needle twice. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I changed the needle one time, but then I fixed it. It didn't, it wasn't, for some reason, I don't know. Sometimes I don't I get it installed correctly the first time. And then I reinstalled it. Who's Willis, Jen? Who is that? What you talking about, Jen? Okay. I am literally covered in threads right now. Like, <laughs> like it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Just covered in threads. Tomorrow's Friday, right? She's making huge floor pillows. Shut, I mean, I guess I could technically. Technically, I could. Yeah, tonight I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna take out all these threads and then I have this uh, iron the the seam flat would be ideal. Flat. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay, so now I got to do this twice over. I can't believe I did that, you guys. I really... 
<laughs> I'm really truly upset at myself for doing this, for making four pillows instead of two, but you know, it's okay. Let it go, Daisy. Let it go. Please just let it go. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever let it go. So I don't. No guarantees. <laughs> All right. So. Make the zigzag. Zigazaka, zigazaka. Okay. Luckily, from here on out, it's not so hard. You just have to keep everything together. So tonight what I'm going to do, if I can finish it all, I'm going to get all these rows done. Shoot, I really have to backstitch. Oh my god. I'm going to get all these rows put together. I am going to cut all the threads off because I have not really been cutting my threads off. I am going to iron the seams open and perhaps... Uh, start cutting out the fabric that goes in the cathedral windows but tomorrow i will go live in the afternoon that's the plan because i can't go live at night because from about 8 to 9 30 i'm gonna be hanging out with my friend who's moving and uh i I thought I was going to be able to go live, but I guess not. But I'm just going to keep working on this. Like, I don't care if it's the weekend. <laughs> I'm still going to work on this. I don't know how long it'll take me to get this done. Probably a week, I guess. Not a week. <laughs> 12 by 12 squares. This is 20 by 20. Inches, not 20 by 20 squares. <laughs> but I could technically. Technically, I could. Backstitch, Daisy. Backstitch, for goodness sakes. Goodness sakes, backstitch. Unless I do go live tomorrow. <laughs> this is all I'm working on, so maybe, I don't know, we'll see. It was until you caught extra squares and I can make a whole rug. Now I'm going to make a whole rug. You know what? I need a matching rug. I need a matching rug for my curtains. <laughs> This, this is my life now, you guys. This is my life now. supposed to be in so let's just make sure okay okay we're supposed to make a zigzag okay it's one row just go 
goes here. Then these two. Then these two. Yes, is that right? I'm <laughs> still. I still look at the pattern every five minutes. Daisy will have cathedral window rug pillows. I'm gonna have, I'm, gonna, I'm about to get started on some cathedral window um, um, toilet seat covers and shower curtains and oh, those, you know, those toilet paper holders, cathedral window. Cathedral window, my life, baby, okay? <laughs> Don't get me started. Don't make me. Because I will. <laughs> Cathedral window car cover. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm that crazy. I'm that crazy. Don't make me. Don't challenge me. I'll do it. Tomorrow, I'm thinking, will I have the seams open and everything <laughs> ready to put all them together? Ha! Huh. I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, one down, 700 more to go. <laughs> Seven, only 700 more rows to put together, guys. All achy, achy, like the 1960s special catalogs. Matchy, matchy. Oh, I was like, achy, achy, like your achy, breaky heart. Yeah, I'm going to do a set of crochet. Y'all, you know they have, uh, I've seen on Etsy, um, I guess they found like an old cathedral window quilt. Oh, wait, oops, 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 oops. I'm using the wrong seam. I'm using the wrong seam. Yeah. Um, so they found like an old cathedral quilt and they made it into a jacket. <laughs> so I'm going to make me some jackets. I'm going to make me some pants. I'm going to make me like a little vest. <laughs> Got to make me a bucket hat. Like I'm going to be fully decked out. I suspect I have enough scratch right now to do it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Freak me out, Daisy, because you messed up, yo. Okay. So, hang on. Hang on. Let me, let me regroup. Let me regroup. Okay. Okay. Wrong seam allowance. Quarter inch, Daisy. Quarter inch. I'm already even set for it. Come on, this thread. Okay. All right, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Can you spare a square? No, I cannot. I need to make cathedral window underwear. <laughs> so, no, I cannot. Zena, make your own. Make your own cathedral quilt underwear. <laughs> okay, let's see. Last part here. Wait, why is my needle have so much thread in it that's not right at all? What was that all about? I don't know. Oh, 
only break this sewing machine has had since I bought it was when I went to uh, Mississippi for a week. <laughs> That's the only time this sewing machine has ever rested. <laughs> Otherwise, I've been putting this baby to work. just been working. Yes. That one. Somehow I messed up that up. But I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay because the rest of them look really, really good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So let's do <laughs> let's do the next ones. And I'm literally just putting them um, the way they're coming out of the pile here. Jobs. These are just scraps, so they're are they do they match? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really worried about it. It's gonna be a pretty scrappy little quilt, little pillow here. So that's a missing one. So that's three. No, that's six. Okay, Daisy. Daisy, calm down. <laughs> Calm down, girl. Calm down. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so much to do. Okay. Let's do these. The way that they're supposed to go. Zigzag. 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 Okay. Like that. Like that, zigzag. Let me get some water. Oh my god. Okay. so bad if in four days I, I wait for pillows. I don't think that's so bad. Probably pretty good. some like cereal or something. <laughs> I'm gonna get all these rows done just like I have right here. I am going to get all the threads cut off and hopefully if I have if I fit it I always think it's gonna take me like 20 minutes but <laughs> if I get all the rows together then I have to iron the the seams open. And so then tomorrow when I come on here live, I will be, uh, I'll probably take some time in the morning and afternoon to cut out the squares that go in between so that um, when I decide to go live tomorrow, I'm not going to go live at my usual time and go live a little bit earlier. And so hopefully by then, I'll probably just have enough time to sew them all together. 
because it always just takes me longer, but at least I'll have those squares done. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll still go live after I get back. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what am I sewing here? I need a back stitch. Okay. That's going to be it for me tonight, you guys. Overdosed on eggs. Oh, my God, Marty. How dare you? <laughs> oh, my God, Marty. That was one time. Like, it happened one time. And I'm like, you never let me forget it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to call it a night for now, and um, I'm going to keep working on these after I eat my little cereal, and then we are going to, we are going to figure it out, okay? That's what we're going to do. So everybody come and join me tomorrow. I don't know what time during the day I'm going to go back to be honest with you. But there'll be another video if you want to follow along my journey to making 700 pillows. <laughs> Join me. Join me as I figure out what it is that I'm doing here. <laughs> so everybody, thank y'all so, so much for joining me here on this little uh, live. Thank y'all so much for chatting with me and uh, making me laugh. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best. And sometimes I need y'all's help. Okay, sometimes you guys really help me out. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really, really do. <laughs> so everybody, thank you so, so much. And I'll come and hang out with y'all tomorrow. Okay, everybody have a great night. And we'll, um, yeah, only 700. I'm, I'm being reasonable. I'm being modest. <laughs> everybody have a day. We'll come hang out tomorrow. Okay, bye.